Good morning everyone, this is Dallas Smith from Peavine Ridge Farms and it's another beautiful day. You can see the sun shining perfectly on the homestead up there. Cows we just rolled out a bale for. Ended it right there so they have a little bit of wind break because that's where the wind's coming from right now. There's the tractor that we used to bring the bale out. Those guys over there, the bull in them, have a lot of food. As you can see their feet are full. We're gonna probably see if we can start taking down, taking apart that uh, tent style shelter there. And uh, I might actually go crawl up the culvert and get that hose out today. It's above freezing already again, so that counts for something. Hopefully the roads don't get as icy as they did last week. <laughs> that was pretty slick. But yeah, let's just take a look at how the cows are doing. That's one of the purebred heifers that we bought got her pretty cheap and then there's our one of our homegrown ones she's half short one she's looking really good she's a first time calver this year so it'll be our first calf there's nana coming strolling over on the other side there she likes to hang out with her cows here's another one of the heifers that we bought and on the other side's another one of our homegrown heifers so we got a fair bit of heifers to cow out so it should make for a Entertaining calving season. Yeah. But they're all good looking girls, should be pretty easy. Tractor started up. We'll keep working down the line. I think this will be her third, third time calving. Yes, it will be. Same with her. Her, I don't know. She's been in her, the red one there. She's been in her for a long time. It'll be her second time calving. Her calf died, but it wasn't her fault. And she's a good mom. You know, there's another homegrown heifer right there. With the purple layer tag. She's, I think, our best looking homegrown one. She's a chunky lady. <laughs> yeah. There's another one we bought with the turquoise ear tag. And there's Pat. This will be your fourth time calving, I think. Yeah. He's looking good. Oh, he's looking good. There's one of the cows we bought last fall. <laughs> just chewing away on her feet. I think her buddy just headbutted her. And then there's Zenora. Taking a peek at us. She calved, her calf is the white bull calf in that pen way over there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. That guy right there. That's her calf from last year. Still have to get a hair sample on him, out of him and everything, get him registered. Actually, I might do that today, is haul him up. So that might be part of this video. And yeah, I'll continue down the line. Everybody's here eating away, looking happy. There's one of our milk cows. Where are other milk cows? Probably walk past her and didn't even notice that she's over back. Well, I might as well go look for that other milk cow. Let's see if I can find her. Maybe she has a turquoise tag. Oh, she doesn't. She has a white tag. Where is she? Oh, I see her now. It's over there by that red cemental. That's her right there. <laughs> That's her right there, right beside that lighter colored cow is the milk cow. All right, found her. All right, hopefully we'll continue on this video for today. All right, plans changed. It's actually windy enough today. I got enough time today to go uh, light probably the biggest pile I've ever burnt in my life. <laughs> it's a big pile of uh, 
scrap wood from when we did some um, land clearing here just to thin out the forest and everything like we sold a fair bit of it for lumber but there's always like bits and pieces of trees that can't be utilized like sure i'd prefer to like i don't know do hugel mounds or turn it into biochar but i don't have the equipment nor time to do it so we'll just burn it the ash and everything that's left will benefit the soil and there'll probably will be some char Alrighty, let's go do this all right we've made it to the fire this is probably where i'm gonna light it is up in there and it goes a fair ways this pile that way i'm on my hand on my knees right now because that's where I'm, I'm probably just gonna crawl in under there get her lit so i'll set up the phone here to watch me light the fire then after it's lit we'll time lapse it from a distance once we sure we're sure it's just gonna go okay this should be entertaining Almost as entertaining as me trying to get my old bipod to work. <laughs> it's in the unlocked position. I don't know if she has like two seeds. Let's put you here. Y'all, I just hope I've burned my phone up. Uh-oh, not of here. As you can see that stuff with all the pitch in it burns like it's got beetle port on it, which is nice.
Somebody thinks you're the light. Back off and see what it does. Set up the time lapse somewhere where you can see the whole pile. It's going to be ways away from here. Alright, I'll give some height to this. Alrighty, I think I'll uh, outro this video right now. Um, it's burnt about half the pile so far, all from just one single match, which is pretty good. I'll uh, walk over and show you the face of the snowman we built. Let's just say the one half that was facing the fire didn't fare so well. Kicked my stuff. Yeah, she's pretty warm over here already. Oh, he's leaning over far more than he was. Yeah, front half all melted off. Kind of makes this cool pattern towards the face of the fire there. Kind of a torn look. But yeah, I think that's what we'll do for today's video. Tomorrow I will hopefully be moving that uh, bull up to the um, pen closest to the house and we'll uh, start trying to halter break them and everything and we'll also see if we can get some hair samples for DNA testing. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.